Okay, so here's another video on a um, grid navigation. And again, for this video, all you will need is your scrap tractor, compass, and a pen, and lined paper. Lined paper makes things easier, um, especially if you're going through lots of them, um, trying to get your head around them. I find lined paper just speeds up the process a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is place our scrap tractor on the paper, like so. And if you try and line it up with the lines on the paper, it makes life a lot easier later on. So, firstly, just mark a dot in the centre. If you haven't got a hole in the centre of your scrap tractor, just mark a cross beforehand and then overlay the scrap tractor on top of it. And mark a dot at north, at the top of your tractor. Okay, and then take your compass, put it on the centre dot, and just draw a circle around that point. I'll make it a bit darker so you guys can see it. Okay. Once you have done that, what you need to do is mark in your meridians. Okay, so this question states uh, the VOR is located at 7632 north, uh, 6815 west. A polar stereographic chart with a grid aligned with the Greenwich meridian is to be used. The local variation is 75 degrees west. Which grid track must be maintained to track radial 210 magnetic inbound? Okay, so we know we're in the northern hemisphere because it says we're at 7632 north. So the first thing we'll do is mark on our meridians. Okay, and at meridian and anti meridian. So if we're in the northern hemisphere, you should always remember the meridian is closest to you and the anti meridian is furthest away. If you're in the southern hemisphere, they're the opposites. So as I'll mark on our meridian, and I'll use a solid line for this. And the anti meridian, I'll use a dashed line just so I can tell the difference between the two. Okay, so this is our meridian and this is our anti meridian. And because we're in the northern hemisphere, I'll write north pole on there. And this dot represents the north pole. The next thing we'll do is mark on our east and our west. Now these don't change regardless of whether you're at the north pole or the south pole. The east is always on the right, west is always on the left. And again, Grid north will mark up here to show that the top of the page is grid north. Okay, so it tells us that the VOR is located at 68 degrees 15 west. So what we'll do is we'll mark that on. Now the way we measure that is we always measure it from the meridian around. Okay, so it would be 68 degrees from here, so about here. But what we'll do is we'll place the compass over the top and we will just bring it around. Measure at 68 degrees. So 70, 68 is there. And put a mark there on the outside of the compass. Okay. Now what we need to do is draw a line between these two points. So through the North Pole and at that 68 degrees. What I'll also do is just draw that there so you can see it's 68 degrees west. Okay. Now I wouldn't worry about the 68, 15. 15 isn't going to change much. If you look at the answers to the question, um, they're all very spaced out. The point 15 isn't going to make much of a difference. Okay, um, so now we know. Well, what we need to do is mark a point there. So the point at which the 68 intercepts the circle. Just to mark the dots there. Okay, because that's where we're working from now. Now it says. Um, which grid track must be maintained to track radial 210 magnetic inbound? Now magnetic is the key here, as so they've also given you the variation of 75 degrees west. Just using a simple Cadbury's dairy milk, very tasty, or whatever you might use. Simple as that, so we've got 210 magnetic. Variation is, let me say, 75 degrees west. So our true would be... 135 degrees. Okay. So what we want to do now is mark our 135 degrees on there. Okay, so we'll align our compass with the 68 degrees, making sure the center dot is on that new dot that we just marked that intercepts the intersection line between the line and the outside of the circle. Of course, make sure you've got your compass around the right way. So north is pointing inwards. Okay, and well, mine nearly goes off the edge of the paper here, but just mark a dot line on there. Okay, at your 135 on your compass. 
now what we want to do is put a line through these two points. Let's extend it out a little bit. Okay, so that is our 135 degrees. Now what the question is asking us is which grid track must be maintained to track the 210 magnetic. Okay, so we know that grid north is this way and this is why having using line paper comes in quite handy because all of these straight lines now represent grid north. So what you need to do is put again the center dot over the point at which the line and the circle intersect and align your compass with grid north. So that is the point at which it's got to be parallel with either your meridians or the lines on the paper. Okay, so like that. In fact, I will draw on grid north here just for convenience. Like so. And the angle we are looking for is this one here. So you simply put your compass over there aligned with grid north, read off that angle there which is 23 degrees and that angle there now becomes 023 grid which is your answer and obviously you can do a quick common sense check here as well um, you can see that that angle is tiny if you look at the answers there's only one angle on there which is which could possibly be that and it's 23 degrees so it works fine, simple as that